Hello guys, have you ever wanted to install some LEDs in your car but hesitated because you will probably have some bulb out messages if your car has CAN bus and therefore you have maybe looked into getting one of these resistors here in this case they are made for T10 bulbs like this and uh, the, basically how it works is that uh, it converts electricity into heat and then gives resistance so the CAN bus system will be tricked into thinking that you have a stronger bulb which is working which isn't true because this is taking uh, the electricity but the dangerous thing about these is that they get really hot as you can see it's uh, fairly simple and looks to be well made, you just stick the bulb in here, then you got a new holder for the bulb, a little hard to do that by one hand, and then you just plug it into the original socket. And there is a lot of labeling, and most of this is probably bullshit, like the e marking and all of the other certifications. And it also says danger there, but I'm not sure why it would say that because it's not showing that it's hot or anything that it will get hot but it says that it will take out 3.2 watts of power and this is basically a aluminium construction with a really simple heat sink uh, I think this is fine for like blinker bulbs um, because then the bulbs is not on all the time but I will show you how hot it gets. So here I have uh, a bulb running now for maybe around 5 to 10 minutes and I got this temperature gauge here and we are gonna check the temperature on the heat sink here now. So it's around 80 degrees on the surface of the heatsink and on the inside there then it's probably over 100 degrees and for the bulb to get hot I can understand that because a normal bulb also get hot but this thing will be dangling somewhere that is not made to have a lot of hot things so it can start a fire or be an other hazard at some sort so 